What do you do? It's your boy Steph. Um, I'm gonna show you guys my ab workout that I'm doing today. Um, I'm gonna show you guys how to get deep, separated abs, and also I'm gonna show you guys what I eat in my day to day. Um, let's get it. Follow directions. Alright, don't forget to like this video, man. Share with people who ever need help. Follow my Instagram at Steph is Cold. Alright, fellas and ladies that's watching. Let's get it. What up guys, uh, I'm starting off with some decline sit-ups. I'm just showing you guys, man, really basic movements that you can do to tighten up your core, to make your abs more visible. Of course, um, you have to do these consi consistently and you have to uh, diet and do cardio as well. If you're one of those guys who um, have stubborn belly fat or stubborn body fat to lose. So I just wanted to share that tip with you guys. Let's get it. I know a lot of guys is asking like, Steph, do you have to go all the way down when you're doing your abs? Now, I tell you something about constant tension. When you go all the way down like this, you rest. Your back hit your thing, you rest. But when you come up like this, and you stop like right here, it's tension. See how I'm shaking? <laughs> it's tension like that. So when you come in, when you're coming down, you don't want to touch your you don't want to touch your whole back. It's like your lower back when you touch the pad when you go down. And just come back up. Bam, just come back up. Bam. 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 Decline sit-ups. 20. So um, now this now this exercise is good for your serratus. So like the fingers right right underneath your armpit. So like this muscle right here and your obliques, your uh, intercostal obliques as well coming across. So for both sides, I like to do. You don't want to do a lot of heavy weight. So you want to do like maybe 27.5 pounds. Come over to the side like this and just crunch down just like that. All right, just crunch down just like that. Just crunch down. Just like that, crunch down. That's all I'm doing is crunching down. That's all I'm doing. That's all I'm doing is crunching down. Right? That's all I'm doing. And you do the same thing for this side as well. Come over here, feel, feel the muscle engage first. Feel it engage first. Crunch down. Crunch down. Crunch down. That's gonna really bring out the obliques. When you get super lean and you see and you see you are ripped up and cut up. Called the serratus, so serratus, serratus, whatever you call it, and it gets you right. Just crunch down. Just crunch down. All right. All right. Tip that you can really use for your serratus. Follow me. I'm gonna show y'all. This is like on the dip bar. I'm gonna show y'all. Right now. You come right here like this. You get on the dip bar like this. So you on the dips like this, right? All you're gonna do is tuck your body up. Just like that. Tucking, tucking your body up. Just like that. See how I'm doing that? I'm resting right here. Tuck up, just like that. Alright? Tuck up, just like that. Alright? You could do that too. That, that worked your, that work your shit like a motherfucker. That worked it like a motherfucker. Um, Instead of you just doing the weighted, like if you don't want to do the weighted, man, you can, do, you can come here and do these. I do both. You know, uh, for, for the weighted crunches, for the obliques, I recommend every 12 reps each side, 12 reps. But this you can do 15, 12 to 15 reps, four to five sets, um, depending on how, how comfortable you are doing the exercise, if that makes sense. All right? All right, y'all. And right here, all I'm doing is uh, just showing you guys how you perform the movement, man. You just want to push up just like that, as like as you were doing a dip, right? Push up just like that. You hang, let your traps hang, and you just push up through your palms. You just push up. You don't want to do a um, push up with your triceps. You just push up with your palms, and that way you're engaging your serratus. Um, so really, 
great movement for your overall core. You know what I'm saying? It's a really great movement. You know what I'm saying? So just had to show you that, guys. Final last exercise is the weighted crunch. Um, by far one of my favorites. This is one of my favorites um, that I'm doing. If I record an easy, you see doing this. Um, it's gonna be 70 pounds. You can do this on your knees or you can do it standing up. I like doing it standing up. And all you're gonna do is grab the rope like this and just turn, turn your body into a fucking turkey. <laughs> right? So just roll just like that. And squeeze as you're going down. 15 to 20 reps. Four. I'm, I'm doing these right here. This this machine right here is really good for your lower abs because anytime, I'm just gonna tell y'all something when you're doing abs to get y'all, everybody say, hey Steph, how can I get the V? How can I get your lower abs more pop? People always say abs are made in the kitchen, but that's not necessarily true. Um, you still have to develop the abs because they are a muscle. You ever notice you get to a, a low body fat percentage and you wonder why, why my back not as, as, as dense or why my arms not popping as much but I'm lean. It's because you have your, your arms or your abs are not developed at that level yet for you to be popping at a lower body fat percentage. So whenever you're doing a movement where you're bringing here, whenever you're doing this, that's all low. Whenever you're doing this, that's all low. Whenever something is coming from a down up, that's all low. All right, so watch me do these. It's kind of like I'm digging. Just like that. Just like that. All the way. All the way. What up, fellas? So basically what I was saying was when you're doing these, you don't have to go as heavy doing these, you know what I'm saying? But you want to make sure your form is perfect. You want to be executing each rep with, with great form um, because that's going to really, you know, make your abs pop out when you're doing the exercise the right way. Too many guys go too fast or, you know, the form isn't there and they live too heavy with certain exercises. And that's why their physique look the way it looks, you know what I'm saying? Um, this is a really great exercise. This is one of my favorite exercises for lower abs. Like I said in the previous clip, anytime you move your knees close to your face or your legs coming up from the ground close to your face, um, that's working all lower abs, right? Just like right now, you see me um, bringing my knees towards my body or towards my face. Um, that's all lower abs. That's all lower abs. Even though I feel it in my upper abs, but it's mainly targeting the lower abs in that V. Um, along with, you know, diet and cardio, being in the calorie deficit and, you know, staying consistent on top of your diet and, and, and training, you will see a massive improvements, but got to stay consistent, man, and you got to train your abs. A workout that I'm doing for my abs, um, it's probably one of my favorites. I like doing these weighted, just simply because it has that thickness to the lower part of your abs. You know, do... 10 to 15 reps, four sets. Um, you still gotta diet, man. You still gotta do cardio, especially like me. Like if I eat some BS, I blow up in the face, I blow up in the stomach, I get bloated in the water. So I gotta really watch what I eat. Gotta stay on top of my diet and stuff. So you see how it's done. Just do it with a uh, 10 pound dumbbell. You don't need to go no heavier. And um, that's it, man. 
one free exercise that I do to really get my abs to show, to really get my abs to pop. Three exercises that I do, three exercises that you should do. That's the end of my ab workout. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, you guys uh, need any online coaching. Uh, follow me on Instagram and click the link in the bio. Step is code is my Instagram. Um, if you need any questions or online coaching, stepiscode.com. And um, that's the video for today. Don't forget to like my shit. Comment, subscribe, I'll be back in the